Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we'll be talking about some important news, um, not for every player I'm guessing, but for most players, um, so we are getting the, uh, NVIDIA DLSS this December for Bannerlord, and also for, uh, other games as you can see right over here, but, um, what this pretty much means, um, is we're gonna get a lot better frame rate if you have, um, pretty sure I'm gonna read, uh, I'm gonna read all this, but if you have a NVIDIA driver, a video driver in your PC, you will get uh, like, a, I think it's like a 40% increase or something like that. But we're gonna read this, we're gonna see what it says, and we're gonna go from there. So let's read the, this part and then read the uh, Bannerlord part. So Cyberpunk, by the way, I'm gonna link this down below if you guys wanna check it out for yourself. So Cyberpunk 2077, Minecraft with RTX, and four new games, including Bannerlord, add NVIDIA DLSS this December. So GeForce RTX GPUs feature Tensor Core's dedicated AI processors that power revolutionary technologies such as NVIDIA DLSS, which greatly accelerates f uh, frame rates. With faster performance, you can enjoy smoother gameplay or reinvest those frames in higher, de in higher detail levels higher rendering resolutions, and higher ray tracing settings, giving you the most immersive experience possible. You know, they got they got an A. They got to, you know, they got to cake it up. They got to say all this, you know. <laughs> I get it. Following the additional of DLSS to over a dozen titles in October and November, we're today announcing DLSS coming to another five titles, increasing frame rates by 40% or more. Crazy, really, if you think about it. And on the 10th, Cyberpunk joins the party. I don't know when Bannerlord joins it. They say that Cyberpunk joins on the 10th. I don't know if Bannerlord is also going to be on the 10th or when it's going to be on. I did kind of like fast forward. Um, not fast forward. I, I, I skimmed over this part, but I still didn't see a date. But let's read it. So Tale Wars Entertainment's popular medieval combat simulator and role-playing game. Not there yet. Uh, enables players to explore, raid, and conquer their way across the vast continent of Calradium, making friends and enemies along the way. Millions of uh, gamers have already played uh, Mon Blade Bannerlord, and the early access title is continuing, uh, is continually receiving enhancements, content updates, and new features, contributing to its excellent user reviews. And with the release of a new update this month, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord will feature NVIDIA DLS. Okay, so it's coming with 1.5.6. That's actually very interesting. There's a lot of stuff coming. We're going to talk about 1.5.6 probably in this video after we get over this. I have some stuff to say about it. Accelerating performance up to 50% at 4K, allowing gamers to hit 60 plus FPS across all uh, GT uh, GeForce RTX GPUs. Uh, DLSS will be especially beneficial in the game's massive performance intensive multiplayer battles, which feature Siege Engines, Cavalry, and full on Castle Assaults. As such, we recommend all GeForce RTX gamers enable DLSS for the best possible on Blade Banlord experience. So let's view this now. Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> I put that on the whole screen. I probably messed up the whole thing. Um, I guess we're just going to have to do this. So depending on what you have, it looks like overall, we've got 40 to 64. Overall, you're just going to do very good in terms of uh your uh i don't know it says it says all of them right but then again it th these might actually be all of them now that i think about it yeah i think i don't know i have no clue i'm not i'm not the best with uh computers i uh bought a pre-built computer so i don't want to hear anything about it i don't want nobody in my comments be like oh so you didn't build i don't want to hear it all right i don't want to hear it but um this is good news and uh, we are gonna have, again, a lot better performance, and that's what you know the devs have been working on a lot, so it's good to see that they keep you know, improving that aspect of the game. Now, onto the 1.5.6 news. So there is so much coming in 1.5.6. It might be one of the biggest updates we've gotten so far, literally. I'm just gonna list off some of the stuff that's coming. Obviously, this is coming. This isn't, this isn't even the biggest part. Then we have uh, rebellions. New clans will start uh, uh, populating the um, what's it called the map with the rebellion feature. We also have loyalty and security fixes, which are obviously going to be connected to the rebellions. Uh, what else do we have that's coming in 1.5.6? I'm trying to remember everything. 
the huge snowballing changes are also coming obviously all the changes we uh, looked over in like the very long I think it was like 45 minute video where um, a lot of different changes that have to do with snowballing are, are pretty much going to be uh, solved and a lot of um, what's called it's gonna be, they said about 95% solved and uh, cl I mean um, clans are going to be different with the way they spend their money and also kingdoms will stay alive for pretty much um, what's it called indefinitely uh, with that update so a lot of stuff is to come I am very excited uh, for all the new uh, stuff that is to come hopefully that doesn't come out like this week because cyberpunk comes out tomorrow but uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of stuff for me to have to you know uh, check out at the same time but and I'm pretty sure they won't drop it this week either, uh, anyways because obviously cyberpunk you know it's a big release I don't think any other any other game really wants to release at the same time as that to be honest with you but when we do get 1.5.6 I will uh, make a video on it and uh, we will go over it there's gonna be a lot to go over it's probably gonna be a like a, a series of videos but I'm very excited it's gonna be very game-changing and we will check it out but I just wanted to make this uh, video talking about obviously this is also coming and uh, it's very exciting so uh, hope this was informative ask me any questions concerns and like always stay safe